This video will show you a few scenes from my amateur failed acrylic pour and how I turned it from something like this into something beautiful like that in under 30 minutes without paint. If you're interested, just keep on watching. So my ambition was to make this really beautiful acrylic pour and I've watched numerous videos on YouTube and everybody had a different technique of mixing and pouring and I got so confused after a while I just said you know what let me just go ahead and try it if it doesn't turn out oh well. So I used this white paint from Walmart um, I didn't want to spend too much money that was the base coat and then I got this artist love paint from Michaels and um, just started to mixing things up. The blue color was gorgeous, but it wasn't what I was going for. I wanted like a really soft blue, but when I mixed the white and blue together, it became still this really vibrant uh, color. And it wasn't quite what I was uh, trying to achieve. Then I added in some liquid text to make the paint more fluid so it would spread well and it worked okay but in the end I just didn't have enough paint for this super large canvas. Again it was 4 by 3 feet. I also saw some people on YouTube adding some water to the paint so I tried that as well and you can see how blue that color still is. I mixed up a second batch of the blue with white added in and you know thinned it out and as you can see here it is still like super vibrant like almost like a beautiful ocean color and that was not what I was going for. Anyway after I had my color palette all mixed up I used this white paint from Walmart to use as my base coat and I spread it all over the canvas and you could actually see later the waves and everything so I honestly forgot to thin that out to make it as smooth as possible. It wasn't too bad once it dried but uh, you could definitely tell. After I had spread out the white paint as best as I could I used my torch gun to spread uh, get rid of some of the bubbles in the paint. Here came the fun and scary part. I started pouring the paint onto the canvas. That blue was so gorgeous and I just got carried away with it honestly. I loved it so much because it added so much to the whole overall color scheme but it completely threw off what I was aiming for. So I just poured puddles with different colors on top of it and after I had my four colors poured in a puddle, blue at the bottom, then mauve and the pearl white and metallic silver, I started using my blow dryer to blow it out like I had seen on YouTube, but it didn't work that well because I didn't have enough paint and the base coat wasn't fluid enough either. Since I realized I didn't have enough paint, I decided to add more puddles all over the canvas to kind of spread the colors out. I did this in different color variations. That time I started with mauve at the bottom and added some pearl white and metallic silver and did it in different amounts for different colors just to have some variation. I continued to use my blow dryer over all of my puddles and blew out the colors until I completely ran out of paint. And here's what I ended up with. It wasn't too bad as you can see the colors are gorgeous. This blue is absolutely fantastic. The mauve I had mixed with so many different colors. The blue in some places actually looked almost black. And the silver lines that you see I took after the painting was dry or here are some cells that I even achieved and the silver lines like I said I used a silver chrome pen I had ordered from Amazon to add some you know sparkle and more metallic finish into the painting 
up close it is absolutely beautiful but overall it was just not what I was trying to achieve. Since I didn't have enough paint I had a lot of white space and I added some crushed glass and diamond dust in those areas to give it more interest but honestly I wasn't too thrilled with that. I just knew that I did not want to keep it like that, but I also did not want to scrape off all of the diamond dust and crushed glass. So what I decided to do is use some batting that I had at home and I had to actually end up putting two layers down and it stuck pretty well because of the crushed glass because the colors were so vibrant. And here you see where I lined it up with the edge of the canvas. And after I had completed that, I just started trimming off the excess and lined that up as well with the edge. And this is what it looked like after I had placed the two layers of batting on top of the canvas. And to achieve the look that I was going for, I purchased this shower curtain from Amazon, which had the mauve and blue colors in it. So I simply turned the canvas over and started stapling the shower curtain to the frame. While stapling, I only did a few and then looked at the canvas from the front just to make sure that the fabric wasn't pulled too tight. I did end up pulling out a couple of staples because I could see like little indentations on the edge. After I had stapled everything on, I trimmed off the axis and here I'm working on the corner just so I could achieve a nice fold. And this is how it looked so far. I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I could not see any of the acrylic paint anymore and it definitely had the design and colors that I was shooting for. Although this was already pretty glam, of course I couldn't stop there. I added some silver glitter, which I ordered from Etsy and I will leave the link below and then I just used the Mod Podge and uh, drew the lines on where I wanted the glitter to go. For some of the glitter, I followed the veining in the actual shower curtain, but not everywhere, you know, just really subtle and so it would just be luminous and elegant. There was a larger space on the shower curtain that didn't really have any veining or much color, so I did add some veining myself with the silver glitter right there. And guys, here's the final result. I am so thrilled with it. Of course, the colors are never the same on video as they are, you know, in person, but it turned out gorgeous. Actually, the silver glitter looks more of a champagne color in a lot of areas. I don't know why that is, maybe because of the background color, but it is absolutely stunning. And I know there are other videos out there with people who have used a shower curtain over a canvas, but I'm not sure if there's anyone who actually put the batting underneath not to have to paint or remove any other substances like the diamond dust or the crushed glitter. Anyway, that was my solution. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I gave you some inspiration to maybe try your own. I will have my super glam living room tour coming up. This is where this picture is hanging. So please stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss out. It's going to be really nice. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. And thank you to all of my subscribers. And if you're new here, welcome. And I appreciate all of you. Take care and have a great day.